Hello everybody! Welcome back to the vlogs. Um, I've been a bit MIA on vlogs uh, because other things have been happening over the weekends that I haven't been able to share. So it is the Easter long weekend. It is Saturday. I was going to vlog a little bit yesterday, but basically my day was tidying up and that's about it. Uh, we had my dad over for Good Friday with fish and chips and it's the only day of the year that you can convince Scott to consume anything from the water. But it was really, really good. It took him a long time. We didn't pre-order our fish and chips because we weren't sure what was actually happening for Easter. And now we know we need to order in advance. So I've just finished filming a reel, so I'm editing it right now. And I just have to say, I love when transitions actually work like perfectly, if you do like a jump or a turn or whatever. So I'm working on that. It's quarter past 12. I'm probably gonna have some lunch soon. We ordered Indian earlier in the week. A little bit of Indian leftover butter chicken. Uh, veggie biryani and we do have some samosas although I'm saving those for Scott because he really wants them so that's all that's happened so far this morning's not been uber uber eventful either um gave Scott a haircut I think we're on quarantine cut number probably seven or eight like I've cut his hair quite a bit during quarantine um but I am excited for him eventually now to be able to actually go back to um a hairdresser so that I can just kind of maintain what they do versus kind of knocking most of it back to something that makes him happy, I have it in short. I'm contemplating cutting my hair. I'm in that moment where I'm like, I love my long hair. Love my long hair. But I just, every once in a while, I'm like, hmm, maybe I should short, like, shorten it. And like, I never maintain it short. Like when I do like my big chops, it never, I never maintain that because I'm always like ready to grow my hair again. But I'm trying to kind of figure out what my ideal length is to maintain at it. Um, I've always just like grown, 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 chop. Grown, 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 chop. So thinking about that um, and then also thinking how much my hair has grown in the last I'd say year and a half I think I shot my hair for Scott's sister's wedding which would be two years ago this summer I shot my hair quite short and like it's already back to some of its longest that it's been so I'm not super concerned like I have something that's like super far out that I'm kind of like thinking about what my hair is gonna be like so I don't want to like do anything too dramatic and then have it not grow back, even though I know it will grow back, but like in my head, I'm like concerned. So might do a little snip, a little more snip, and figure that out. So now that I've mentioned food, I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna go back to editing. So this is my first ever attempt at embroidering basically anything. Um, I thought I'd start with something like super simple, and now I realize that those are not straight, but whatever. <laughs> so I just did those two, and I realized that it is quarter to five, so the heat of the day is gone. It was supposed to rain today. It hasn't rained yet, um, but I wanted to nip into my garden and start pulling out. Um, I have this weed that always gets entwined with my lilies, and I can never pick it. Uh, but right now I can actually see what's lily and what is this weed because my lilies are starting to sprout. I have a sprinkling, and I'm very excited. So I'm going to go and put a sweater on and see if I can tell right being outside. So just came in from the garden, um, didn't do a whole lot, but cleaned up a fair bit, so pretty happy with that. And I decided that I kind of fancy a hot chocolate. Uh, I know that with spring weather, like it's been, it's been hot and cold, hot and cold recently, and by hot I mean like 16, 17 degrees. I think we got up to 20 one day, but I don't think it felt like 20. Anyways, needless to say, the season for hot chocolate is coming to a close since spring has officially started, so I thought... I should have a hot chocolate. So I got a little set for Christmas um, at Four Flavors. This one was double chocolate. There is gingerbread cookie biscuit hot chocolate. There's a French vanilla hot chocolate and then a mocha peppermint, which I will not be consuming because I don't like mint. So that one's Scott's. He's actually kind of been eyeing the French vanilla one as well, although I would like to try this. I like, 
I like parts of French vanilla. I don't like the coffee taste, but I like a shot of French vanilla, like an ice cap um, or stuff like that. So I'm tempted to have that one. Not right now, but I am going to share that one, I think, with him. But I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with double chocolate. Now it said to do three heaping teaspoons, three heaping tablespoons of mix into your mug and then add 180 milliliters of hot water and stir. I never really trust their water measurements. Um, so I'm using one of my Harry Potter mugs and three heaping tablespoons. I feel like it's going to be most of this. So I'm not sure how many is actually supposed to make. So we will find out. It is 10 to nine and I've just kind of absorbed myself into an embroidery project. Um, I started off some like basic arrows and just tried a bunch of different stitches um, and just played around with it and actually really, really like it. Obviously I only have one embroidery hoop right now so I just kind of took that one off and I've already planned, or not planned, but I've already prepped my next one. I just watched a few different classes on Skillshare. If you haven't heard of Skillshare, it's a really awesome website. They do often sponsor videos. This is not sponsored. I <laughs> wish it was, but it's not. Skillshare has a lot of different opportunities for you to learn different crafts, different skills, basically in a huge range of different things. I lend myself towards the more arts and crafty side of things, so I've learned how to do things on Procreate. I've obviously learned some embroidery. I really like Skillshare, and it's really affordable, so I will leave a code down below if you'd like to check it out. So I went on a little side tangent of art. I wanted to do a line drawing embroidery piece and I watched again a video on Skillshare but I wanted to do one of me. So I decided to pull up Procreate, pull out some photos, recent photos, and do some line art and then do some of my illustrations. So I thought I'd show you guys. So super simple one. This one's based off of my reel from today. And one without a background. And then I have two different, my hair and my button is different between the two of them. I prefer the hair on this one. And yeah, and that's what the full background looked like in the illustrator, in the video. Good morning. So it is actually 10 o'clock. I've been up for a while, but haven't done anything much. Had my breakfast, did some laundry, still doing some laundry. And I am contemplating so I'm procrastinating from doing actual work stuff because it's the long weekend and I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm just going to work all day as if I was like, you know, at school because that tends to work well for me. So I'm kind of wanting to do more things around the house. So I did a big deep clean um, of the living room, dining room, sort of the kitchen um, for Good Friday so we could have my dad over and not feel like I was in a pigsty. But my office needs a little bit of tweaking and then there's tons to do in my basement. So. I have all of this cardboard that I was actually, this is going back a couple months now, and I was going to just throw it out, and I needed Scott to help me break it down, and we never got to break it down, and then I started finding reasons to keep it, and now I want to keep it because I have a really cool um, activity for my students to do when we finish our science units in the next month or so, but I don't have anywhere to put it. And it's killing me because like I need it out of my basement. I'm like losing it because it's just taking up so much space. So I'm really hoping that I can bring it into work. My plan is to bring it in on Friday and store it somewhere at work until I need it so that I can get the heck out of my house. And then there's just so much, so many little things I want to do. Um, and I do want to know yesterday when I did my gardening thing, I do know and I knew this when I was doing it. But I was hoping for the best, um, that you're not supposed to muck around your garden just yet because, or at least until the, the temperatures are like consistently, I think about like 10 degrees or so, um, just because there are pollinators and stuff chilling in your, in your leaves and all that stuff. And so I try not to disturb too much of my garden while plucking out those like weeds and the dead weeds and stuff. So hopefully I didn't, didn't hurt any bumbles or anything like that, but that's aside. But I'm like, I'll wait for my backyard. My backyard right now has many leaves. And also, like, my neighbor set up a pool. It's April. What? What? And it's not filled in or anything, but it is a big pool. So that'll be that'll be interesting. I'm only slightly jealous because I don't want it to be taking up that much space in my backyard. But I might, if it's another hot year, I might get a little kiddie pool. <laughs> Probably buy it now before it gets really hot. 
So anyways, I'm going to do something in here. Um, continue my little creative spree, I think, in a bit. Um, yeah, I'm going to work. I think I'm going to do some blog posts. Uh, I just don't know what. Oh, here we go. I don't know what I want to do right now because my brain is doing one of those. It's doing that dance. That dance where it has so many things it wants to do and doesn't know where to start. So I'm just trying to do things that, you know, spark joy, make me happy and are creative and an outlet for stuff. Um, I do want to do a wardrobe purge. That's something I want to do. But I don't know if I have the time or the energy for that, but we'll see. All right, so I had a change of heart, a slight change of heart. This is all the cardboard, a little bit of styrofoam, that just came out of my basement that I was going to keep. Now I'm keeping the three, well, like, it's two complete boxes that are super like long and skinny because that'd be perfect for like a mini putt course. That's what I was looking for. But then I realized that all of this cardboard for the most part is actually pretty thick. And I don't think my kids are gonna be able to manipulate it. I think they're gonna have to use like a knife, which I'm not, I'm not doing. So I decided that I'm gonna just do a, like a recycle drive with my kiddos. And then, you know, granola boxes, cereal boxes, um, paper towel, toilet roll, all that kind of stuff. Cause it's much more malleable for the kids to move uh, or to bend and concoct whatever they're gonna concoct. So Scott's gonna break all this down, which is thrilling to me because I can now see the bottom of my basement. I have a whole bunch of stuff that's now been rebagged to be donated. I have a few things that I've pulled from those bags that I think I might be able to sell on like Marketplace or I might try Poshmark and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, as well as some shoes that are in good enough condition to be sold because they haven't been worn that much or they don't really share, show wear at all. I'm doing like towels and bedding now, so stuff that just takes longer. And yeah, and I have a few things that need to go to the dump because they are like electronics and like paint cans. And I don't know what's obviously nothing's open today because it's. It is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, by the way. I forgot to say that earlier. Happy Easter. But I want to get rid of that. And like, I'm off tomorrow, and I forget that the rest of the world isn't off tomorrow, that everyone gets Good Friday off instead of Easter Monday. So maybe if I need a break from the house, I will go into the dump tomorrow. So I'm actually feeling much better about the fact that I'm getting rid of all this cardboard, because like, you guys saw it, it's, it's a ton. It's taking up so much space. And then I have some boxes to give back to my dad. And yeah, just, I'm feeling productive. It's one of those things, just, mm, feels so good. Also a bit of a bummer is the fact that my Fitbit was charging the entire time that I was doing everything downstairs. So needless to say, I've lost a lot of calories burned, a lot of steps, and whatever else my Fitbit tracks, my heart rate. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I've just made a cup of tea, story of my life. Um, and just trying to figure out what else to do? I know that we're going to be doing my little cookie decorating kit later. This was gifted to us at work. Um, it's a local business to our area. So it was a fundraiser for parents and stuff, but our, our owner bought us, bought us a box. So I'm super excited for that. It comes with icing, two types of colors, two like sprinkles and decorations, and then six cookies. So there's three Easter eggs and three bunnies. Also, really kind of looking forward to sitting outside later on my bench because it's supposed to be warm today. I think it's supposed to go up to 15. So thinking that it's time for us to uncover the bench and then I'm going to tidy up around the stones. I think if I'm out there, I'm not going to disturb the beds as I mentioned earlier, but we have some recycling that should go out that we've kind of just forgotten about for the last few months because we moved to an indoor recycling um, setup. So our outdoor bin has been neglected also because we have to keep it in the back and not the front which is closer to the recycle and garbage um i don't always think about it so you're like lug it all through the house so anyways that is what it is some tidying up to you in my backyard let's put it that way and we're gonna finally get some new knobs for the for the barbecue because i've decided it needs it it needs it it needs a little spruce up but yeah having that spring cleaning feeling feels good Another sure sign that it's spring is it's time to do our tires. Usually we have a conveyor of people, but it's going to be Scott, myself, and potentially my dad. I can never go unscathed. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the redness of the ice pack, but there's a bruise forming on my hand. So I have an ice pack sitting on it. I think one time last year, as I was walking 
up through here, I caught an edge of that door frame and walloped myself with the tire. This year, I've put the last one downstairs and I have to go over the treadmill to put it down. And we have a stockpile of Rubbermaid bins. And I brought my hand down on a lid from one of the, um, the Canadian Tire Home Depot style ones. And the lid was facing up and I like walloped my hand against it. So it was like instant bruise. So I figured if I put a little ice on it, it'll go away. Because it's barely cut. There's literally like two little tiny dots. But uh, the bruise hurt. Decided to finally take all of my yarn out of this and in there and put them into some containers that I had. I got this from the dollar store a while ago from my linen closet and I just haven't actually found a purpose for them yet. So this is going to be for all of the still bundled pieces. And then you can see that these are kind of on makeshift bobbins or whatever you want to call those. Um, I actually inherited these when I was working at a camp a few years ago from one of the girls because you're big on friendship bracelets and teaching the kids that stuff. And I also had a lot of it from just my own years of making bracelets. So I am now deconstructing this box, making my own little pieces of cardboard, and watching YouTube while rolling those up to make them neater. is before our sparkles and post sprinkles. <laughs> Scott had a little chick face with a top hat. <laughs> and then, yes, these are the rest. Now, I think Scott's given up. My love, are you going to do any more? Okay, so the next three are going to be mine. So let's see what I come up with. Good morning. So this is an extended vlog because it's still the weekend, at least for me. So happy Monday. I am very tired, and I don't know if I look very tired, but I feel very tired. I've been kind of awake since about three something. I started tossing and turning, which meant getting up at any reasonable early time for me, so I can start getting work done, um, has been made impossible. And I'm fighting the urge to go back to sleep, because I'm scared that I'm going to end up sleeping for like four hours. <laughs> and I want to get some stuff done. And they get a lot of stuff done. So last night I got almost all of my embroidery floss organized. I didn't get it all into the cardboard because I realized that I had lots of relatively smaller lengths or shorter lengths of the same color. So I figured I would just wind it around my fingers for now, sort it out, and then go from there. But I even started cutting up um, old bracelets and stuff that I, got, I knew I was never going to finish making, so I might as well just use the string for other things. So I thought I bit off more than I could chew, but in the end, like, made a healthy dent, got a lot done, so that felt kind of nice. Finished the cookies yesterday, and the, the icing 
on the note says it takes about eight hours to cure an open air, like room temperature open air. And uh, so we didn't eat them last night, although we totally, we totally put some of the icing on like chocolate chip cookies and ate those instead. But we have an absolute ton of the sparkle, the sprinkles and bubbles and stuff because we just didn't use a lot of them. But this is what they look like after drawing. You can see that they are a little bit, um, they're a little lumpy and bumpy. The blue obviously more so because of the fact that it was such a thick um, opening because Scott opened it and didn't read the instructions and also didn't realize. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of work done. And if I have to take a nap, so be it. But I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like today, if I'm going to get to sit outside or not. I didn't get to sit outside at all yesterday, even though I really wanted to. But hopefully the weather's nice, and I can do that at some point later today. But now I'm looking at my pile of school stuff. I brought some stuff home earlier in the week. Oh, I didn't really mention this. So we had a huge hullabaloo just before the Easter break with panic that we were going to be working remote for the next four days before our spring break. And... That was kibosh. It was. It was. It didn't didn't go through. Although I, it probably should have, just because of the number of cases and stuff that we have right now. Nothing in my school. Thank God. Nothing. Nothing at my school. So I started bringing a bunch of stuff home, uh, preemptively earlier in the week. And now, it's just chilling because we don't know if we're gonna be remote after the spring break. We think that we're going to be, but we don't know. So I'm like, it'll just sit here and chill. But I don't want to just keep putting it into the basement because my basement, we all know about the basement. Um, so I just kind of stuck it over here as neatly as I could. Hey, hey, hey. So you just saw the new restaurant we went to pick up. So we went to, it's called the Dirty Bird. And we were going to go there after we went to the dump. And I was going to get rid of some old paint cans and some electronics that Scott and I or like are busted. <clears throat> Dump wasn't open. Even though online led me to believe that it was, but that's fine, whatever. Scott said he'll go later in the week. So we decided we were gonna try this new restaurant. It was okay. It smelled so good when you walked in though, because like chicken and waffles, like fried chicken and waffles. So it was okay. It was like, mm, don't know if I'd really want to go again, but it wasn't bad. Um, so just finished eating that and then kind of decided that I don't really want to do any more work story of my life. Uh, I planned for this week, so that's that's done and taken care of. I kind of wrote up my, my to-do list for the week, <clears throat> and I do, I do a very, um, I'm going to say juvenile to-do list method. My best friend taught me after um, she taught little people, and it helps. It is the ketchup mustard mayo list, and Scott's added his own touch by calling, adding relish. So the ketchup is stuff that's like already overdue or like like super pressed for time to get done. Um, mustard, things you must do. And then mayo, you may do them if you've done everything else. Um, and then Scott's added relish to it. So things that you enjoy doing, which really aren't on a to-do list, but he likes to add them to my list to make me smile. So I did that for this week. And I feel like I'm just going to work smarter, not harder during my preps this week. I just don't and then I have a couple days that I stay late um, at work after I tutor. So I will blast through those then. And I feel like I'm going to do some editing. I know you can hear Scott on a work meeting. So, be back. I just took some photos of the clothes that I am going to put up on Facebook Marketplace and or potentially Poshmark. I'm thinking more so on Facebook Marketplace. And if I don't get any bites, I'm just going to donate them. Um, so I'm going to get that situated. I'm um, just looking at the photos that I took of there. Scott is stomping because Scott likes to stomp and make noise and interrupt. And apparently have a shower. So it's 5.30 now. I'm going to probably sign off here.